what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob i'm bryce and i'm zaf and today we have a very very special movie for you guys um we just started a brand new thing over on our patreon so once a month uh our real timers are who are our highest tier over on our patreon um are going to be able to vote for a movie specifically that we are going to watch uh every month going forward um this month uh it was the first time we did it you guys voted for little women um i'm really 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 excited to watch this movie i've wanted to watch it for a while uh i've i saw the one the old one with winona ryder and christian bale i loved it as a kid um this one has an all-star cast absolutely stacked can't wait to watch it since this is a movie for our real timers it does go on uh the patreon for early access it will be posted on youtube the first of every month um and that's for all the real timer movies going forward so expect that in the future like i said before though um i have seen the old little women have not seen this new adaptation but i'm so excited to see it uh every actor actress in this movie is phenomenal emma watson florence Pugh, emma uh, timothy chalamet and uh sorshi ronan i probably said that wrong but um they're all phenomenal there's probably some actors that i'm missing as well but yeah these guys don't know anything about this movie i think the only thing i told them is that it takes place in the in the past i don't remember the setting exactly but i know it, it is uh pretty some ways w away back in the past so Everyone in this um, movie is uh, just good to the eye, eye candy, if you will. Um, we're all excited to see them, all the gorgeousness, you know? Yeah, like, I've never seen this movie, like Rob said. Um, I'm really excited. He hypes it up, and I'm excited. I love the old one. I'm sure this one's good, because the cast is great, so... Yeah, not much to say over here about the movie. I know like a lot of the actors going into it don't know the storyline. Like he said, it takes place in the past. I saw like the wardrobes. It does look pretty old, like olden times a little bit. But yeah, going off of the uh, real timer new benefit that this is, um, we think this is like a great opportunity because you guys can. It's not like the normal movie nights where you guys vote for a genre and then like recommend a movie that fits in that genre. It's just. You recommend the number one movie that you guys have been wanting us to watch so if you guys have been wanting us to watch a specific movie i think this is the perfect opportunity to join and hopefully that one gets voted for us to do this one was it's been heavily requested for a while now mm -hmm. it's i think it's been in a few movie night polls i've wanted it to win so many times and now it's it's finally here so i'm sure going forward there's going to be a lot of movies that um people have been wanting us to do for a while that wins so um, yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. Uh, I think it's a really new cool addition to the Patreon and a great benefit for our uh, top tier. So, all right, guys, well, that's pretty much it before we do get into this movie. If you do like our movie reactions, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Over 81% of you guys are actually not subscribed, so please take two seconds, hit that sub button, it helps us out a lot. We really, really appreciate it. Make sure to check out all the links in our description as well. The first link is for our Patreon. We have the full uncut watch alongs over there to all the movies that we watch, as well as all the shows, uh, as well as a bunch of early access for you so check that out um and like we said this is a real timer movie so um it will be up for early access over on the patreon for at least a couple of days second link is going to be for our discord come talk to us about all the movies we're watching we're in there all the time we got a super super cool community third link is going to be for all of our merch uh we got crew neck shirts some stickers i'm wearing it right now actually um yeah, so check that out, support us. The rest of the link's gonna be for all of our social medias. Give us a follow. And the address at the very, very bottom of the description is gonna be for our PO box. Send us some stuff to be opened on camera for our brand new show, Mail Time. And with all that being said, guys, we're gonna get right into this movie. Real time or monthly movie number one, Little Women, 2019. Let's do it. Whoa, okay, Whoa, so he's just disrespectful. Yep. Not a cool guy. We'll take this. Oh, you will? With what? alterations. It's too long. You... We pay 25 to 30 for things of this sort. We'll pay 20 for that. Oh. So lower than normal. Nice. If the main character is a girl. Make sure she's married by the end. Wow. Or dead. Either way. Is it, what is this, like a publishing what house? Name? It must be. It is. Yeah. I see the sign in the back now. Good afternoon, Miss March. Oh, good afternoon. Him. Breaking You're bad. On fire. Not him at all. She's on fire. Oh, literally on fire. On fire. <laughs> well, my sister Amy's in Paris, and until she marries someone obscenely wealthy, it's up to me to keep the family afloat. 
Is Amy the one that wrote the thing she just submitted? Uh, she might be. Lawrence. Lawrence. Who's that? Lawrence Pugh. Oh, that's the girl from Midsommar. Midsommar. Yep. These French women couldn't lift a hairbrush. She's Amy. Amy. Mm -hmm. I said these French women couldn't oh, Meryl lift Streep. a hairbrush. Mm. <laughs> what a wonderful lady. Meryl who? Meryl Streep. Never heard. Uncultured. Uncultured. Oh, there is that guy. He is him, Timothy Chalamet. Oh, look at him. Lori. He's so good looking. Lori. Aw. Oh my god, I didn't recognize you because you're so beautiful oh, now. Oh, stop it. Wow. I you liked this. I couldn't believe Joe turned you down. I'm so sorry. Don't be, Amy. I'm not. Who would turn him down? Not me. Come to the New Year's Eve party. It's a ball and everyone will be there, including Fred. Pick me up at the hotel at, at 8th the Chavon. Oh. New Year's Eve, let's go. They're gonna kiss. They're gonna kiss. Fun fact, me and Rob have kissed this last New Year's. Meg, that would look so lovely on you. <gasps> Emma oh. Watson. You'll be the prettiest wife in Concord. Oh, I... She looks like um, <laughs> Jack Sparrow, kind of. Aww. Emma Watson is a mother. They were talking about Beth earlier. He's smitten by her. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, they're gonna dance together, Robocop. Dance, 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 dance. Oh, 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 oh. They love each other. I feel like he's gonna pass away quickly for some reason. Wow. Oh. It's a bold assumption. <laughs> Who I want to dance with? Whoa. Who? All the sisters all when they're younger. To sing it for you. Are they to smoke like yeah, that? Amy, Joe, Beth, Meg. Meg? Perfect ringlet. Oh. oh. oh I'd be fucking pissed. Don't put your hands behind your back. Don't say Christopher Columbus. Don't say Capitol. Right. Don't shake hands. Don't whistle. Meg March, you look so pretty. Emma's Meg. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Meg so Marsh. she is Joe. Uh oh, where's she stumbling oh, to? Sorry, is that Tim? Not at all. So stay if you. If you uh, <laughs> no, I don't know many people here. I felt rather. Yeah, uh, Amy was saying she feels bad that him and Joe didn't work out. But they're an item here. He's off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, that's her. Seat. Is Timothy a main character? Yes. He's so good looking. Joe, would you like to dance with me? Let's go. Can't because. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? They're gonna do it in, in, in privacy. Private. Look at them. Oh! Oh! A uh, little fumble there. <laughs> They're going crazy out here. Tim's a hell of a guy. Or should I call him Lori? Lori. I, was, I, was, I thought you were gonna call him Pelican Fly. <laughs> Please. Oh, no. she hurt her ankle so or something? Early. You can't mean to leave yet. I always her foot. Early. I do. <laughs> oh, is that Laura Dern? <laughs> I think I know who that is too, Rob. I'm pretty sure oh, her Amy. name is Laura Dern. Did Amy even this come to the thing together. that she told the party about? This is a flashback, off. Oh, yeah, fuck. this this, this is seven, seven years, years ago. This is seven years ago the whole time. How are your ankles? Do you need ice? No, thank you, man. Just call me mother or Marmy. Everyone does. Seems like a delight. Yeah. So nice. I'm getting the vibe that, that he likes everyone in that fam. That Lori might not have a great family life. It just seemed like he was soaking in the moment, if you know what I mean. Or maybe he's just in love with some of the girls. And some of them being two of them. <laughs> what did he leave her? It's a gift. I mean, what is it going to be, Rob Zuff? Books. Oh, it's going to be Shakespeare. My favorite books. Can you name a Shakespeare play? Romeo and Juliet. Nice. You got ones up? Um, The Bird and the Worm. Yep. That's his best work. I would love to read what you're writing. If you'll trust me, I promise honesty and whatever intelligence I can master. Yours, Frederick. Frederick. So is this present day now? That must be present day. Because... 
I don't think she met that guy. This is the party, huh? Yeah, this is the party. Mm, yeah. This is present day. They were dancing yeah. at the party. Don't think that's big Fred Vaughn right there she's dancing with, because I do not like his chances in this movie. Is that Timmy? Damn, he, he looks too broad. up, dude. Excuse me. You're gonna man and she's jealous? Oh, oh wow. Dude, he's, yeah, he's wasted. I waited an hour for you. Oh, he was supposed to pick her up. I feel caught. Oh. You ashamed of a hand like that? No, I'm not. Looks like it's never done a day of work in its life, and that ring is ridiculous. Damn. You gave me this ring. Perhaps you're fantasizing about spending Fred Vaughn's fortune. Fred Vaughn, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. He's making a spectacle right now. Yeah. He is just trying to marry Rich, I think, right? I'm so sorry. He's just chilling there, and someone just goes, Fred Vaughn. Fred Vaughn, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> it's like, whoa, what the fuck? Those are just stories, of course. These are, these are really good. He's gonna suck up. You know, I, I, I don't like them. Oh, that's wrong. wrong, Zuff. Honestly, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I think that they're not good. <laughs> Holy shit. Be honest, huh? Not a yes, man. They're published in the, in the papers, and people have always said that I'm talented. Oh, I think you're talented. You just told me you didn't like my work. I thought you wanted honesty. I... Yes, I do. Damn. Has no one ever talked to you like You got yes men around her, bro. Yep. Give her some criticism, though, here, Fredri er, Frederick. Indicates that My you must think there is some truth indicates that you are a pompous blowhard. Damn. I don't have the gifts you have. No, you don't. And you will always be a critic and never an author, and, and the world will, will forget that you ever even wow. lived. Wow, I'm, I'm sure they will. That's fucked. You are not my friend. And I don't want your opinion because he's I don't just, like you very much. He's just much. being very polite. She is just absolutely cheating on him. So bad. At I mean, he called her word criticism. ass, but didn't give her <laughs> any constructive criticism. Just said it was bad. <laughs> he's my favorite character right now. He's, he's the guy. What is she supposed to do with that? I'm her mother. I didn't really get the two that said, come back. What's wrong with Beth? I can't be an actress. I have lots of wishes, but my favorite one is to be an artist in Paris and to it do looks fine like pictures that's and to be the best painter in the going world. Going pretty well that's for you. you want too, isn't it? You have already been to Europe, and you are the May Queen. Mother proposed not having any Christmas presents this year because our men are suffering in the army. We can't do much, but we can make our little sacrifice. <laughs> What's she doing? Like she's fake doing cocaine. I have made the most divine crown, and I painted my old shoes blue, so she looks like a princess. I think the melancholy face I figured out is pretty good. Meg, wait until you see this new. You got a hell of a family dynamic here. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have a family play. Yep. Merry Christmas, girls. Marmy. Marmy. Her five children are in one bed to keep from freezing, and there's nothing to eat. My girls, will you give them your breakfast as a Christmas present? Oh. Man, they don't it's even so get Christmas tough, presents. Bro. They were just saying how hungry they were. Yeah, I'd say, but I want the breakfast. Girls, why don't you untuck the food? It's very thoughtful. It's just like they need to eat too. Right? 100%. Yes. Mother means well. They're just so kind. They're yeah. all so kind. Oh. Saying the classes came to town. Awesome. They got so food. Lord wow. Sister Lord sent it. Florence Boy's grandfather? Yes. Oh. Lori's grandfather. I'm not responsible for this feast, but I have got a surprise. What is it? <gasps> Disney tickets. It's a letter from their dad. Tell them I think of them by day, pray for them by night, and find my best comforts in their affection at all times. He stood. I know that they will be loving children. W too. father, man. It's a very sweet letter. I may be fonder and prouder than ever of my little women. Aw, there's a title drop. Like dad might not make it out of this war. See it being being very sad. You'll need to marry well. But you are not married, aren't we? Well, that's because I'm rich. <laughs> But I intend to go to Europe one more time and 
I need a companion, so... Ask your sister you like Amy. I take? I'd like that more than anything. Not you, Amy. President Lincoln. No, father's fighting for him. My father says the war is a waste. Oh, wow. President Lincoln. 16th president. It was a civil war. Yeah, I was going to say it's the civil war. <clears throat> Pickled limes. Ugh. I gotta eat my foot. Oh, that's him. He's a hell of an artist. No wonder she's in Europe. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down, Lori. That's so extra. I'm Amy. Hello, Amy. I'm Lori. I know. You brought my sister back after the dance. I would have never sprained my ankle. I have lovely small feet. The best in the family. <laughs> Mr. Davis hit me. Ah, uh, what the fuck? Christopher Columbus, look at that. It's my grandfather. What? No, I'm not scared of anyone. He looks stern, but my his grandfather's Christopher Columbus is that what he said? Yeah. Beth would adore the piano. Is she the quiet one? Yes, that's our Beth. Tell the little girl to use our piano, oh, yes, and Joe borrow whatever book you'd like. They seem nice it's also too. A lovely greenhouse. Who asked you? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you're the tutor. Come on. There's also a lovely greenhouse. Oh, uh, Miss Meg, you got your glove. I think we're in present time now. Yeah. Are I we? feel like it just looks darker whenever it's in present time. Uh, back in old times. One who would be deeply, deeply grateful and would add immensely to the spirit of the club. Lori. Mr. Theodore Lawrence. Absolutely not. <laughs> what? Yes. I think we should do it. Why? Even if we are afraid of it, I say yes. Beth is about it. Never met the guy. And as there is no time like present. <laughs> oh shit. He's already fucking here. He sounds like a pirate. I'm gonna have to stand up. That's the key she was just holding, and that was the post office on the tree. <laughs> They're having a jolly old time. Yeah. Lori is that guy. <laughs> Meg is here, and she has kids, and she has kids. Yeah, their whereabouts are so confusing. I mean, this is the present now. Where's Beth? She's upstairs. Oh, my Joe. We all thought she was better, but the fever had weakened her heart. Oh, Beth is not doing well. When's Amy coming home? Does she not know? Beth and yeah, I don't think uh, Pops made it out. This is seven years later, and he's not home. Please, can I come? Please, can I come? I'm sorry, dear, but you weren't a can't go This is in the past. Don't be a baby and whine about it. Well, I've been shut up here, and I never get to go any. Why does she not get invited? Beth and Amy are younger than Joe and Meg. Yeah, Meg's the oldest. Please! They, stop petting her. Go, they both like go, each other. Go, oh, well, Amy is fucking fired up right I'd now. I'd be pissed. Let's get to go do all this fun shit. Lori. I think that Lori is gonna end up with Amy. Yeah, he might. I mean, they're in the same city together. I feel like back in the day with like all the candles, like I, I'm surprised more houses didn't burn down. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, I mean, I guess she caught on fire in the beginning, but... What did she just burn? Oh, her word. Oh no, that is way too far. No, it's not. They were being a jerk. That's like her like passion. I'm team Amy. <laughs> Dude, she's gonna throw a fit. She stays up all night writing. Amy? Has anyone taken my novel? Fucking burned it, dude. That's she so burned her novel. Amy, you've got it. No, I haven't. That's a lie. No, it isn't. I haven't got it. I don't know where it is, and I don't. Hey, oh, that was. I burnt your. Well, I didn't. Okay. All right, they're not the loving family anymore. They are th actually throwing hands. Yeah, what the fuck? Dude, that is so bad. That's like how many pages of something? Dude, yeah, that's 
a lot of work just gone. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Forgive her. What? Help each other. Oh. And you begin again. Dude, I, I would be so mad. She doesn't deserve my forgiveness. And I will hate her. I will hate her forever. Oh, oh man. Yeah, right. I got a feeling they might still be beefing current day. Mm, I have a feeling that they should have invited her. Because think about it, their Aunt March was telling Joe she'd be the be she could go with her to Europe. I bet Amy stole that shit, and they're still beefing. Oh, moved seats. Don't want to be anywhere near her. Oh, wait, I'm coming. Uh oh. Oh no. You Are they going skating? Yeah. I feel like that she's going to fall on the ice because of... The edge, it's not safe in the middle. Got it. Oh, she's going to tell her to go in the middle. Yeah. Joe, wait! Oh, no. Where is she going? Is this how she perished? No, she's alive. Oh, my gosh, look at Timmy. He's just running. He looks like a cartoon. <laughs> What is he wearing? I don't know. <laughs> he looks like he like a a bellhop at a hotel or something. Amy, it's Amy. Now you want to listen? Oh. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. What she remembers about the book and let's go. I don't think she forgot yet. She cares. Gee, that's all you need to do is put your life in danger. It's almost that's so fuck. Almost die and if she had died, it would have been my fault. Now you got She'll be fine. a cool story to write about. You could write about the time you saved your sister. Yeah. You gave you right material. after you she burned the other story. We are never angry. I'm angry nearly every day of my life. But with nearly forty years of effort, I'm learning to not let it get the That's best. crazy, bro. She's angry every day. Wow, is she good at hiding it? Yeah, very. Like when if you have kids, like you, have you gotta, to. you gotta do that. Especially when you're a single mother too. Like it's just you. So good to see your face. We're going to the sea to get you strong. I love how they're doing sea. seven year flashbacks and they all look the exact same. Yeah, I know. Same. They look the exact same. She writes that Lori is what there. What the fuck? I'm glad he's with her. I think Lori is in into Joe right now, but we'll end up with Amy. Do you miss him? miss everything. Amy seemed very different at the party, like at current time, where Timmy was wasted. You take the other carriage, Lori, and spy on Yeah, the past is all colorful and stuff, and the present is like dark. Thank you for letting me go. Is that a little bit of symbolism, Rob, would you say? Rob, I'm gonna go have a couple of kids, mother. times are better, if you will. Yes, pretty shape you enjoy. Is that the ring? That's the ring he still wears to current day. I think it's a ring. Yeah, her going away like this. Girls have to go into the world and make up their own minds about things. Don't forget about us. Isn't he into her? That dude? The tutor? Yeah. Yeah, he likes Meg. Are you sure it's a good idea for her to go? Doesn't want her to leave. Oh, does he like her? Yeah, that's who they went on the like double date with to the theater. Uh, he had her yeah. glove. That's probably the, fa the baby daddy. Bethy Beth. He's on the piano. Are they like putting on their play? I think so. Or what is this? This is a bunch of different girlies. Is she drunk? Why are they calling you Daisy? It's their pet name for me. <laughs> Meg is a perfectly good name. It's just like playing a part. <laughs> Wait, is he into Meg too? Daisy. I feel like he's into all of them and all of them are into him. You wouldn't actually marry one of these men, would you? I might. Do you like how I look? Oh. No, I don't. I love Whoa. it. I love it. I love it. Say it. I don't like fucks and feathers. <sighs> you were the rudest boy I ever saw. That's a weird way to say it. Very weird way to say That is the most rudeness I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this man's? Isn't it Timmy's dad? Grandfather. Grandfather. Oh. Dad. Lori? I don't like your dress, but I think you were just splendid. <laughs> really? 
Dude, he got a formula and this thing is working. Let me have my fun tonight. I'll be desperately good for the rest of my life. It's a crazy, crazy dance. Crazy dance, you just jump up and down? What? His I hair is like Bugs Bunny. While a lot is not, I suppose, it's too much for a dress. It's just the fabric. Yeah, present time seems very depressing. I try to be contented, but it is hard. And I'm tired of being poor. Damn. I do my best, Maggie. Oh, John. My dear, kind, hard-working boy. It was so ungrateful and wicked. We'll work out a way to get you your coat as well. And then won't we be grand? She just dropped 50 bucks on fabric? John. I need to go to bed. Crazy. Biddy. John. That's money, bro. Yeah, back in the day. Really 50 bucks is like 50 grand. That you've had to do without so many beautiful things. And that you're married to someone who can't give them to you. Damn. John, I'm, I'm feeling for you right now. Like one cent is like a dollar back in the day. When do you begin your great work of art, Raphael? Lori just pisses them off and then gets them to like him. You gotta yeah. piss them off first. Male or female, I am of middling talent. Middling talent. She got herself mid. <laughs> I'm only a mid artist. Polish up all my other talents and become an ornament to society. Mm, that's where Fred Vaughn comes in, I suppose. Don't make fun. I said his name. <laughs> but you will be if he goes down properly on one knee. Most likely, yes. Rich, richer than you, even. I understand Queens of Society can't get on without money, although it does sound... I don't like this Fred Vaughn. I feel like he... Lori's kind of a snake. No? It's... I mean, he's not... He hasn't been the nicest guy ever. Like, he... Like, he's like... Like Bryce said, he puts him down and peppers him up. <laughs> oh, that's Fred. Can you unbutton me? What do they hear? Horses? I don't know. <laughs> How do I look? Do I look alright? You look beautiful. <laughs> you are beautiful. Bro, what is this guy's deal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know about him. He's a snake. I bet you he, that we're gonna see more of him with the night in Mag. I think Fred might be a goofball. I mean, he hasn't had a line yet, I don't think, so. What do you think Fred was thinking about him being in the there? It's Fred Vaughn and his sister Kate. Of course, you know Mr. Brooke. This is Meg, Amy, Ben, oh. and Joe. So pleased to meet you. Oh, how elegant. So he introduced <laughs> her to Fred. Mm-hmm. Buying kites on the beach. Cute little date. Like, I feel like just... Um, Lori has such an advantage over other dudes because they all... Grew up with him and like knew him since a kid and like obviously he's really good looking. But, like everyone just they it he means so much more to the girls than anyone else, so they all like him. If it were not the earth where the same flowers come up again every spring that we used to gather with our tiny I can't believe they wore that to the beach. Yeah. They've gotta be cooking full ass gowns. Everything is known and loved because it is known. Oh, she don't get to the sea. This is current day. Do you have sons in the army? Yes, ma'am. I had four. Ah. Oh. Two were killed, and one is a prisoner who's very sick in a Washington hospital. Damn. For some reason, I feel like he's capping. Very bold. To keep you warm. Why'd you put her scarf in there? Did I miss something? Thank you for everything. I've always admired your husband. I pray for a quick return. Oh. I found these linens. Mr. Lawrence has commissions to me in Washington, and it would give me real satisfaction to be a service to her there. Oh. Hoo hoo! Things have moved forward. He is probably gassed right now. Will this be enough for the train? Joe looks crazy with that hat. It's not like hurt my. <laughs> didn't, didn't even know it was her. Where'd you get the money? Well, I only sold what was my own. Oh. Joe, you're here. You're one beauty. You're one beauty. When did you do this one? 
That was on the beach, wasn't it? It was the day at the beach. Shh, Bryce remembers shit. First time I met Fred. First time she met Fred, drew a picture of Lori. What's he doing? He's in London on business. Uh-oh. I just don't know about Lori, man. Don't marry him. Mm -hmm. I had to take. Just came out and said it, huh? I had to take eight steps though first. Don't marry him. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> I have been second to Joe my whole life in everything, and I will not be the person you settle for just because you cannot have. Oh. I won't, not when I've spent my entire life loving you. Oh, shit. Oh, That's shit. That's some real shit, bro. That is crazy. He now you he want wanted, me? He wanted Joe. Now you want me. You can't always get what you want, you know what I mean? Switched up. These are the kids. That were freezing. Yeah. Beth, look when they go to you! Oh, here's a letter from the old gentleman. Open the note. Oh, Beth, just look. <laughs> oh, shit. They got her a fucking piano? I have had many pairs of slippers in my life, but I never had any that suited me so well as yours. <laughs> and they will always remind me of the gentle giver. I like to pay my debts and hope you will accept this. Oh, that's so sweet. Sir, I wanted to thank you for... You remind me so much of my little girl. Oh, he lost her. Yeah, that's a really Piano sad. I should have given it to you long ago. Thank you. You're burning. Oh, she's burning. Someone's very sick. Oh, man. So maybe this is when they found out she was sick? What is it? It's scarlet fever. What's scarlet fever? Oh, I visited the homeless. I had that when I was a baby. The baby died? Meg and I have, but Amy hasn't. But she'll have to be sent away. Do you think it's too boring? No, oh, it's my favorite one yet. Really? Write me another. Yes, ma'am. Keep writing them. I will, even when I'm not here. Oh, oh man. Is it that bad? Don't say that. Don't, don't say that. I have to tell you. No, you don't. I've had a very long time to think about this, and... And I'm not afraid. It's like the tide going out. It goes out slowly, but it can't be stopped. I'll stop it. Unless you're God, you can't. You will get better. Father will get better. What's Scarlet Fever? Right. It's just a... Like the flu? Sorry, yeah. I can't stop God's will. Well, but like, God it's bad. Yet. Probably what worse back in the day. Oh, way worse. Well, I think they also didn't have medicine. Great medicine. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like it was worse because of lack of medicine. Like no, you know, no one ever says they have a scarlet fever nowadays. Beth is sick. Joe is a lost cause. Damn. And I hear Meg has had her head turned by a penniless tutor. Okay. So it'll be up to you. It's not Damn. all about being rich, there, Aunt March. Better be happy, you know. Indian parents in their old age. Oh. So you must marry well. So the dad is alive. Yeah, he's just sick or like hurt. Your aunt just goes, you were the last hope for your family. <laughs> what is this, some Sir Luke Skywalker type beat? That Lawrence boy was just here. He was? Mm, what a disappointment he's turned out to be. <laughs> he's gone to London. What do you need to discuss with him? Mm. Uh... I mean, you just rejected him. Oh, and Fred is down on a knee. Oh, Fred had just proposed after he said don't marry. I I just told Fred Vaughn I wouldn't marry him. Oh. oh. Wow, is she disappointed in you? <gasps> oh. Sorry, I just, I'm... So worried for Beth. Stay. I ask for leave. I will take care of the children. Oh, John. John. John's a good guy. He is a really good guy. What about money? I don't want you to be unhappy. I couldn't be. John Brooke oh. is my husband. Dude, imagine 
being him and just hearing that just made me feel so good. Literally the best feeling ever, probably. Oh, oh. oh God. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Hannah, make a clear broth and joke at ice. We need to go. Lori. Oh, it's look like, at her face. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel I'm bad poor girl, her. bro. Dude, her skin is like red. Yeah. You know, like her fever has to be oh, like insane. That, that must be what like, scarlet fever is. Yeah. Makes your skin turn scarlet. It looks scarlet. like poison ivy. So sad, bro. I feel so bad for the mom. Her youngest daughter and her husband are sick. Amy's the youngest, I think. Amy's the youngest. Pretty sure. Really? Mm hmm. Where is she? Hey, Mommy. He's up. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, don't make this shit sad on me, bro. I don't know if I can handle it. I think I think we're going to get a bath death. <laughs> At least it rhymes, right? <laughs> Here's another Christmas gift for the Marsh family. Dad. Oh. Is that Bob Odenkirk? That, it, it is. Oh, it my is. God. <laughs> this better call Saul. Bob Odenkirk. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. That's my favorite character. Christmas, my dear. I'm so glad that their Merry dad Christmas got to see to them. I'm so glad that it's Saul Goodman. No. Oh no. Is she gone? I'm so confused. How is she just gone? She was just on the beach. Ah. Oh man. She didn't have a scarlet fever in the current day, did no. she? No. So she got scarlet fever from helping that poor family and she got over it, but it gave her like permanent heart issues. Uh, so bad. So like later on, she died from heart complications. It's like she had like a good heart and ended up messing with her heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like, like what? Sadistic. Aunt Marge or, said, "Doing the right thing, can, you can still be a fool. It's still foolish sometimes." Odin Kirk's character sick. He was in the past. We just saw him right there. That was the present. I'll do anything. I'll cook. I'll clean. I'll work in a factory. I can make a life for us. Joe. And you, you should be an actress, and you should have a life on the stage. Let's just. Why are y'all hating on John so much? Just because my dreams are different than yours doesn't mean they're unimportant. And I'm willing to work and struggle, but I want to do it with John. That is a loyal woman. She wants to marry who she loves. What a gift! Always given before is known. <laughs> Or the reward. I pronounce you. He finally did it. The old mentor managed to somehow uh, catch Hermione. This is how I want my wedding to be. Everyone dressed like they're in the 60s. 1960s? Yeah. So not like this. 1860s. I hope you will be happy now. That you've ruined your life the same way your mother did by marrying your father. <laughs> what a My prude. To you too. <laughs> it can't be worse than some people find in big houses. Oh, I quite understand your meaning, Mrs. Can't tell if they're being they're joking around here or not. A little bit. I don't like her. Harmony! Harmony's going to Europe! Oh, and she wants me to go with her! <laughs> That's wonderful! Oh. Spent all those boring hours reading to her. No, no, she wants me to go on. <laughs> As her companion. Oh. Uh. She wants me to work on my art and my French, of course. <sighs> you don't really like French, though, do you? That's wonderful, Amy. Ah. Uh. Father, I'm going to you. Some tension there, huh? Yeah. Now she's yelling about it. Wait, how did she mistake that? Because before. She told her Joe that she would like to come with her. Oh yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that beautiful land. That was America before all the buildings. 
No, no. It's no use, Joe. Please, Joe, we've got to have it no. out. I have hey. loved you ever since oh, I've known you, Joe. Damn. I couldn't help it. And, and I tried to show you. Letting it out. Now, and give me an answer, because I cannot go on like this any longer. Please, please I gave don't. up billiards. I gave up everything you didn't like. I'm happy I did. Pull? It's fine, and I waited, and I... Maybe, like, gambling and stuff. You know, I figured you'd love me, Joe. So grateful to you, and I'm so proud of you. And I just... I don't see why I can't love you as you want me to. Oh, man. Can't help it. I can't love anyone else, Joe. I mm. only love you. Teddy, it would be a disaster if we it married. It would be a disaster. Okay? We'd be miserable. Joe, Joe I'd be a perfect saint. I can't. Saint. I can't. You'll see that I'm right eventually, and you'll thank me for it. Damn. That sucks to hear. Oh, yeah. wow. I'd rather hang myself and realize Whoa. I would rather... Ah, uh, don't do that. Ah. Uh. That's a little fucked up to say. You'll find some lovely, accomplished girl. Oh, he is probably so heartbroken right now. I can only feel the pain. And we would quarrel, but we can't help it even now. <laughs> I love you, Joe. I'd hate anything more. No, nothing more. All right. Except that. <laughs> yeah. What's what's that? Teddy, I don't believe I will ever marry. I think you're wrong about that, Joe. No. I think you will marry, Joe. I think you'll find someone and love them, and you will live and die for them because that's your way, and you will. I get where Amy's coming from, though. Like, yeah. And she said no to him. Like, this yeah. is how he was. Mm hmm. He said he could never love anybody else but Joe. Lori's returning, you know. Oh, he is? Mm. There's a letter from Amy. She's coming home. She's devastated about Beth. I thought he was off to London. Oh, Lori will accompany them. Uh, oh? Wait, what? That's good. Yeah, I was gonna say, that Aunt March didn't look too good last time we saw her. Perhaps I was too quick in turning him down. Lori. Oh, oh. We want your sister now, so. You love it. If he asked me again, I think I would say yes. Wow. But do you love him? I care more to be loved. That is not the same as loving. Talk that shit, Mom. Mom, Mom is wise. Couldn't say that she loves him. You know who could? Amy. She spent her whole life loving him. I don't despise you, though. She loves you. That's the whole point, dude. Beth was the best of us. Oh, oh, this is back when Beth passed. I think this is current, eh? Or is it? Yeah. Beth passed in current day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not marrying Fred. I just didn't love him as I should. So we don't need to talk about it. We don't need to say anything. <sighs> okay. Oh, I, was, I was hoping for well, this one. He did it. Let's go. Now the the. the... Oh, now she's gonna love him. Oh, this is all gonna go Let down the pothole. <laughs> I used to think that the worst fate was to be a wife. Oh shit. In their P.O. box. Worst fate is to live my life without you in it. <sighs> I was wrong to turn Get out of here, man. Could there have been worse timing? What is going to happen though? Is he going to go back to Joe? Or is he going to really fall for Amy? What, what if he Amy. just switches up and goes for Meg? <laughs> and she divorces John. <laughs> Meg. <laughs> He brings Beth back from the dead. They go on another <laughs> double date and they switch. Teddy! Oh, you're back. Uh, Are you glad to see me then? <laughs> glad to see me then. Mm. Uh, I was worried. I came here with your sister. Who I was kissing. How's Amy? Did she bother you all the way from Europe with her preening? Yes, but I like that. <laughs> me and mother has her down at Meg's. We stopped on the oh. line. There was no getting my wife out of their clutches. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Done it now. That was meant to be a oh. surprise. I've done it now. We engaged and we were hoping to wait, but that is to say that now we are man and wife. Oh. Oh. You and Amy. Yes. Don't check your mailbox. <laughs> Fucking reality just came crumbling down, huh? Are you in love? Yes. Oh. 
This is what she wanted to hear today. Thing, and then we'll put it away forever. I've always loved you. But the love I feel for Amy, it's different. Oh. And I think y you were right about this. I think we would have killed each other. Oh. Uh. oh, Teddy. You're the only one that ever calls me that, Joe. Teddy. <laughs> what does Amy call you? My lord. <laughs> that sounds like her. What? <laughs> Let me go get that letter real quick. Yeah. I'm about to do a sprint to that mailbox. Laurie told you? Yes, yes. Amy, I'm so happy for you. This this was meant to be. <laughs> I wanted to write, Joe. I wanted to write, and I wanted to explain everything, but everything was happening so fast, and really, I was worried you'd be angry. She is. I really miss her. I know. Wow. What a horrible time for uh Everything's Joe. time bad. Time bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the mom's like, wow, we were just talking about that like an hour Is it ago. Gone? <laughs> yeah. You think it'll be gone? Now Joe can cry over this and no one will know what she's crying over. That's fair. Couldn't go in knowing she wouldn't be there. Poor Mr. Lawrence, he is so nice to her. I'll be a friend to lean on, if you let me. I also know this actor. Fucking lost his daughter and then saw his daughter and Beth and then Beth died. Yep. It's fucking terrible, dude. <laughs> She's gonna write a story about Lori. Maybe she'll write a story about Beth, because she said write about me even when I'm not here. He's about to write the best novel ever. Remember when Amy burned her entire novel? Yeah. <laughs> if she does it again because uh, Lori falls in love with her again. You think Lori would have went back to her if he saw that note? I don't know, man. Oh, I can relate to that one. <laughs> Did she just go other hand? Yeah. Wow. Ambidextrous. Wow. Can't submit this to the guy at the beginning who said your thing was too long. Now I don't write anymore. Looks like you're writing a lot here, Joe. Now flip the papers upside down. It'll just get with Friedrich or Frederick and I'll be happy. Oh my god, is she writing her arm off? Those are a lot of pages. It's gonna be like the whole house. Enclosed are the first few chapters of oh my a piece God, I've only begun working on. This is a fifth wall it break. It could as a story Four. for young people, but I think it is probably quite boring. But I'd love to do something that would really make Aunt March turn in her grave. Oh, I didn't know Aunt March died. I'd like to open a school. We never had a proper school, and now there are women's colleges opening. There should be a school for Daisy. Maybe it doesn't seem important because people don't write about them. The book is going to be called Little Women. Holy the shit, publisher. the first character we've seen on the show. I read the chapters you sent, and I have to agree, they aren't very promising. <laughs> Joe, dear, you have a guest. Mm. Here I don't he know is. anyone. <laughs> I don't know anyone. Uh, Friedrich. It's you. Look at so. I hope it is alright. I, I got your address from Miss Kirk. Who, who is this? Who are you? <laughs> 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 Who are you? Who's this? Who the fuck is this guy? He's just joking. No, no, please stay. We have more than enough room. Someone tell me who this man is. <laughs> of course, please. I'm Lori. Who, who are you? I'm Frederick. Bro, Lori, how about you fucking relax? <laughs> oh, Joe, he's very handsome. <laughs> so many people. You're not an immigrant, so perhaps you should stay home. I like how Lori like, was pretty much on his hands and knees begging to date her. Mm -hmm. And she said no. And, F and Frederick just fucking shit on her novel, and she's she wants him. What if, if Frederick ends up with Amy? Okay. This is a beautiful instrument. Which one of you plays? Oh, oh damn. My sister. Do you play? Yes, I do. It would make us so happy if you play now. I don't wish to offend. Not in the least. It's, it's about to be insane he's, a piano low-key he's not friedrich he's beethoven 
Lori's like, fuck. Look at him. I cannot take him serious. If you ever come to California, I would love to see you. I don't know that I will. <laughs> Man's tried. It's gonna be Lori right behind her. Mm. Um, everybody. What? Joe, you love him. What? No, no, I don't. Yes, you do. I am half as smart as you, but I can see it so plainly. You love him. Doesn't you love him? It's a good instinct. You love him. <laughs> Chase after him. Lori, prepare the horses. We can catch him before he gets on the train. I'm coming too. Yes. No. <laughs> Meg. Exactly. Never thought I'd prepare a carriage to help I don't Joe know March. She Jesus. loves him. She was just in, in love with Lori. But it's raining outside. It doesn't matter. It's even better. Come with me. I need to fix you. I need to fix you. But it's raining outside. That's like perfect. Father, are you publishing? What this? happened to the Little Women? Tell me you have the rest of this book. Oh. Oh, he wrote it. No. Oh. Those are her chapters that she sent him. She doesn't even know if she likes him. She likes him. Uh huh? I feel like she doesn't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, They're like, no, trust us. You love him. You can tell. Like, do I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You obviously love him. I don't see why she didn't marry the neighbor. Well, because the neighbor marries her sister. Right. Right. Mm. Of course. Who does she marry? No one. She doesn't marry either of them. Whoa. <laughs> No, 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 that won't work at all. Well, she says the whole book that she doesn't want to marry. Who cares? Just end it that way, will you? <laughs> Fine. Get out of here! Go! Kiss him with love! Kiss him with love. So she doesn't marry him? Oh. Joe! <laughs> Joe! I care. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay. You do? Yes. I would never leave it. You wish me to stay. No, I want. My hands are empty. They're not empty. Oh. Friedrich. Friedrich. In the rain. Dude, just scored. It's romantic. It's very moving. That's very emotional. Now, there's the question of the contract. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared to give you five percent of the. Oh. And of the net profits. After I recoup. Oh my god. No, I'll give you $500 right now to buy out the copyright. Copyright? That's the right for reprinting, that sort of thing. Sequels, characters. Only if it's a success. I see. It seems like something I would want to own, no? Yes. Didn't you no. It's too risky. I'll only pay for the copyright. Do it yourself, please. Mr. Dashwood, if I'm going to sell my heroin into marriage for money, I might as well get some of it. 6.6%. <laughs> Come the fuck on, dude. Such a stickler. Copyright right now. Now I've decided. I want to own my own book. Yep. W. Yeah, but Joe's she's a boss already. lady. You with him? Oh! The school! Little Max! He's a teacher already, so I can teach. Her dad. The school looks lovely. I need to see Friedrich teaching somewhere. Friedrich! Teaching violin. Fencing? Lori's teaching fencing? Who? <laughs> Lori? <laughs> oh, they have a wow. kid. Wow. Happy little family. Little women. Oh, I just got the hard chills. First copy. Oh, no, not bad. Wow, that was... I really enjoyed that movie. Uh, I was actually really getting the chills there at the end. The whole little woman being the book and telling us the story within the story kind of thing it was awesome i really like that movie um like i said at the beginning of the video i have seen the old like the older version um with winona Ryder and christian bale 
this one was super good as well um i really liked it a lot all of the actors did a phenomenal job shout out florence Pugh. i think she was my favorite performance oh yeah in this movie. she was fantastic i also loved sorsha sorry probably saying it wrong yeah. sorsha ronan. Ronan. ronan um she was she was amazing i wish emma watson was in it more yeah. but meg is a little bit more of like a minor sister because she gets married and kind of starts her own family yeah. so not as much to talk about but I really loved it. It was really, really good. Um, Laura Dern is the mom. Uh, Bob Odenkirk surprised yeah, us. Yeah, I was with the about dad. to say that Bob Odenkirk <laughs> was my favorite in that movie. <laughs> He's he was barely fantastic. He was your favorite? Yeah, I love him. He is just one of a kind. He is my. Why was he your favorite in the movie? Because I just like looking at him. If you hadn't seen Better Call Saul, would he be your favorite in the movie? And Breaking Bad, I love them. In and both. Breaking Bad. Yeah, I mean, he just, he won me over in those performances. I will, he'll forever be my favorite and everything. Yeah, I, uh, I agree. I thought it was a very cute story. Um, I enjoyed most, I think I also really liked Amy or Florence Pugh's performance. I think I got a much larger crush on her now after seeing her in that blue outfit. I thought she looked beautiful. Um, I don't know how to feel about Lori. Uh, he was kind of a sly, snaky guy. Dude, uh, yeah, he in the past he's all nice and charming and everything, but I don't know, dude. Just the whole idea of being in love with one sister and marrying and having a kid with another is just weird to me. He even had a little bit of flirting with Meg at one point. Yeah, in the movie. I don't know. I feel like he had a thing for all of them at some point for sure. The part I <laughs> don't like the most is he introduced her to Frank. Or Fred. Or Fred. Like, yeah. Don't marry Fred. <laughs> yeah. Here's my friend you should talk to. Oh, wait. My, your sister doesn't like me. Don't marry, don't marry that Fred. Guy. Never mind. You're my backup. Like, like literally. Uh, I, don't know. I liked him in the movie for sure. Just the character. I don't know about his morals. How yeah. I feel about it. Yeah. And then I think Zuff said it. Like, do you think that he would have went back with Joe if he saw that letter? I would think yes honestly mm, i'd say 50, i think 50. i think Lori's the type of dude that would be like yeah let's um yep yep i would say 50 50. yeah i don't know i really have no clue what he would do how about amy burn the book at the beginning burn her novel when they got into like some beef yeah i mean the whole movie i feel like you can tell that there's a feud or like a rivalry a little bit between amy and uh joe and even Amy addressed that later on in the movie. So, like, I've been second place to Joe my entire life, even with, like, when it comes to you. She was talking to Lori. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, I think it's super evident throughout the movie that there's some struggle between them. But yeah, in general, I think the family is a wonderful family. Super yeah, pure. Mother was, mother was awesome. Super good role model for the kids. She was always mad, but she hit it. That's kind of crazy. She seemed like the biggest sweetheart ever. To think she was really mad deep down, that her human nature just uh, hid, hidden it the whole time is awesome. How do you guys feel about Fred Friedrich? Frederick? I like him. I don't know how to feel about that guy. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't like him. I just they're actually married. Are they? I don't know. I don't think. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I like him, but I feel he just feels a little random. Yeah, it just feels like they threw him in so she can marry someone in the, the end. the first movie? I don't remember. I saw it when I was a little kid. But I don't think she marries anyone. I feel like the only thing that I liked more with, like, the old version was the way they did Beth's death. Because, like, with this one, it, it hopped around from the past and future a bunch. And the, the one that I watched before, it was just, like, all past and then all future. So... Um, Beth's death was more of a surprise than the other one I saw, um, but that's really the only gripe I think I have was that it could have been like, I don't know, a bit more emotional. It definitely still was in this movie. I was still really sad to see Beth die, and it was kind of cool to see it done in a different way, but uh, yeah, I think I might have preferred the other one when it comes to that. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you do like our movie reactions, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in our description as well. The first one is for our Patreon. We have the full uncut watch-alongs over there to all the movies we watch as well, some early access for you, so check that out. Second link is for our Discord. Come talk to us about Little Women as well as all the other movies that we watched. 
Third link's gonna be for all of our merch. We got crew neck shirts, some dope stickers. I'm rocking the crew neck right now. Uh, so check that out, support us. And the rest of the link's gonna be for all of our social medias. Give us a follow. And at the very, very bottom, it is the address to our PO box. Send us some stuff to be open on camera for our brand new show, Mail Time. And with all that being said, guys, we will see you next time for our next movie reaction. Peace.